Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per latest report from News 18, DRDO is looking to complete the development of an indigenous engine to power its domestically manufactured unmanned aerial vehicle within the next two years. The engine in discussion is none other than the dry variant of Kaveri engine. This variant will have the core of tower fan engine, however, it will not have the afterburner section. The engine can generate a thrust of 46 kN and has a maximum weight of 1180 kg. If we compare the Kaveri engine with M882, which powers Rafale, the engine is considerably overweight. The M882, which has dry thrust of 50 kN and 75 kN with afterburner, weighs 897 kg. Both the engines, that is M882 and Kaveri, have LP compressor with three fan stages and HP compressor with six stages. Coming back to dry Kaveri development progress, the engine's high altitude tests are in progress. The engine's endurance test is being planned as part of certification of the engine by Similac, that is Center of Military Airworthiness and Certification. The Similac clearance is an ongoing process and the tests are progressing as per certification requirements. The dry cavalry engine will be used to power the indigenously developed Ghatak UCAV. The Ghatak UCAV development is a part of Project Aura started in 2009. The project is to be developed in two phases. In phase one, a smaller version of UCAV called Swift Stealth Wing Flying Test Bed will be developed. In phase two, the actual UCAV will be developed, which will be known as Ghatak. On 1st July 2022, Swift took its first flight at Aeronautical Test Range ATR in Chitar Durga, Karnataka. It is a one-ton scaled-down model of Ghatak UCAV, which will weigh around 15 to 16 ton. Swift has wingspan of 5 meters and has a length of 4 meters. It will have a range of 200 km, service ceiling of 6 km and endurance of 1 hour. At present, Swift is powered by NPU Saturn 36MT turbofan engine. The plan is to replace it with Manik small turbofan engine STFE at later stage, which is undergoing test on indigenous technology cruise missile ITCM. The Ghatak will be India's stealthy combat UCAV. Its design is based on flying wing concept, which is a tailless and undefined fuselage concept. One of the most important characteristics of UCAV will be stealth. As per DRDO, 70% of its stealth will be achieved due to design, that is shape of the UCAV, and the remaining 30% of stealth will be achieved by using radar absorbent material, radar absorbent coating, and RF reduction techniques. The UCAV will have internal weapons bay. In fact, many of its features will be common to AMCA project being developed by DRDO. It is planned to have onboard mission computer, data links, fire control radar, identification of friend and flow, and collision avoidance systems. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.